In this video I'm going to explain how to design a box with two drivers instead of the usual one. Make sure you watch the box design video and port design video first for the basics on design. In this video I will just show what's different when you want to put two or more drivers in a single box. As with the other videos I'm using the Infinity 1252W sub and I've already uh, entered the three teal and small parameters into the software. FS is 24.23, QTS is 0 0.48, and VAS is 3.48 cubic feet. So let's take a look at what that does in a one cubic foot sealed box. And I've already got a label set up, single sealed one cubic foot. Looking over here at the frequency response, we can see that the base uh, minus 3 dB frequency is 41.6 Hertz. Now when you want to put two drivers in one box, what you do is you double the VAS. So I'm going to double 3.48 cubic feet to 6.96 cubic feet. And the reason we do that is so that the uh, software thinks we now have a super driver that is really the same as the two drivers that we've got in the box but um, so we know that there are really two 12 inch subs in this box but as far as the software thinks uh, we really just have one super driver which is which acts the same as the what we know to be two drivers and the way that we do that is by doubling VAS of the driver. FS and QTS do not ch change. So I'll update the data description here. We'll call this dual sealed one cubic foot. Update the plot and if you look at the frequency response here you can see these two curves are not the same. The uh, green curve, which shows two drivers sharing a one cubic foot box, F3 is now about 50, 51 hertz. Well, that is <clears throat> inferior to what we had before. So that makes sense because we've got two drivers uh, sharing that one cubic foot sealed box. But if we double the box to two cubic feet and update it, I'll update the label too. The two curves are exactly the same. It just looks like one, but, but they're just right on top of each other. So that makes sense because we've got two drivers in a two cubic foot box acting exactly the same as a single driver in a one, cu in a one cubic foot box. Now, for a ported design, you use exactly the same technique. The only difference is you, you also have to design the port. So let's just go through that. I'm going to uh, edit both the data sets. We'll use uh, a ported two cubic foot box because ported boxes are generally larger than sealed boxes. I will use a port frequency of 25 hertz. I will update the label here. This is a single ported one cubic foot, uh, two cubic foot box. Now we'll update the second data set. This will be a dual ported four cubic foot box. Tuned to the same frequency. And once again the two curves are the same. So the two drivers in a four cubic foot ported box act exactly the same as a single driver in a two cubic foot box. Now the, the benefit of having multiple drivers in this larger box is you've now got twice the sound pressure level uh, capability. You can, you can pump that much more air. But from the benefit of frequency response, uh, there, there, there is none. It's adding uh, more drivers just gives you more uh, maximum sound pressure level. Now when we go to the port design we have to enter the uh, four cubic foot volume because that's the uh, combined uh, box size that we have. The port frequency was 25 Hertz 
and the uh, hint here says use a port diameter at least one third the woofer diameter for best results. Well, we've got uh, two 12 inch subs, so one third of 12 is four inches, but that's just uh, for one 12 inch sub. Now that we've got two, we actually should uh, have a, a larger port, port diameter, and if you do the math, uh, the the goal is really the square root of 2, 1.414 times the rule of thumb here, which would end up being somewhere between 5 and 6 inches. So I'm going to choose uh, 6 inches here, and we see that the port length is prohibitively long, 26.1 inches. So now in a 4 cubic foot box, that, that may be uh, doable. 4 cubic foot box is, is large and, and uh, if you can um, fit this port in there your performance would be uh, better. Uh, if you can't we can throttle this back just a little bit uh, maybe well five inches would would take you to uh, 17 and a half inch uh, port so it really comes down to uh, you know choose the uh, largest diameter that you have space for in your box and uh, they'll get uh, better performance.